Hello guys, today I want to show you another new feature released in Laravel 10.9 recently by Tim McDonald. Another kind of a small refactoring, but pretty important in the way how we use middlewares. So let me show you the code and you will understand everything from practical way. So imagine you have route group or route get with this middleware, auth and verified, which are standard from Laravel. So you often use auth without really even thinking what's behind it. Behind it, in the app HTTP kernel file, we have the array called middleware aliases. And here we have the actual classes of Laravel, some of them from the core, some of them are from app HTTP, which are assigned to the names, and those names we can use in the routes web. So what Tim suggested in his pull request is to replace all those string middlewares into actual classes, so we wouldn't have to have that array at all. And in fact, you were able to do that with your custom middlewares anyway. So PHP Artisan make middleware some middleware. So typical way would be to register that as some and then some middleware class. But did you know that you can use the same thing, the class itself directly in the routes without registering that? So you can do something like comma some middleware class like this. So in the same fashion, what Tim is suggesting is that instead of using auth verified here, we would do something like array and do instead of auth, authenticate class directly like this. And for verified, we do ensure email is verified class like this. And this is the list in his pull request with various parameters. So authenticate is the default auth, but then you can do authenticate with basic auth, provide a guard if you want to, then authorize using something. So basically what he's suggesting is using class names instead of strings in the routes web. In the current state of this pull request, the old string ways still work. I think they will still keep working. They will not be deprecated because a lot of projects are of course created and will still work with the old auth. But now with this pull request, you're able to change that into class based syntax if you want to. Then probably the main benefit is that it makes it clickable. So in your ID, you can click authenticate and see what's inside without going to kernel file and looking for this and clicking here. And it's just in general, more flexible approach to have class names in a similar way as we're writing, for example, user model class instead of writing app models user like this. Because what if we change the model location to something else, then our PHP storm or ID would be able to refactor all the usages of that class everywhere in the project, which is not so easy to do if you use that as string. What do you think about this change? Would you use the new syntax? And the link to the pull request will be in the description below so you can analyze it further and understand what's under the hood. Subscribe to the channel for more news about Laravel 10 and beyond and see you guys in other videos.